An advanced search in Primo V allows you to specify additional lines of criteria which are not available with the simple search. Begin by clicking on the link to the right of the search box. This will bring you to the advanced search page. So let's try an advanced search. Using the field drop down menu, you have a variety of options to choose from, including title, author, or subject. I am looking for Gwendolyn Brooks as author creator. You can also choose a search parameter for each search line. Using is returns an exact match. Contains returns results that contain all the words in the phrase. Starts with returns results that contain words that start with a specified string. For this search, I will use contains. In the second line, using the field drop down menu, I will select subject and parameter contains and look for the search term manuscript. You can continue to add up to seven lines of criteria. You can also do a Boolean search, which allows you to combine keywords with and, or, not. To the right, I can limit my search by material type, language, and or publication date. I don't want to limit my results by materials or language, but will limit publication dates from 1917 to 2000. You can also use the search scope above the search fields to define where the system should perform the search. Searching for Gwendolyn Brooks and manuscript yields two results from our catalog. You can see a little bit of information about each one of the records, including the author, title, availability, reading room location, and call number. You can also use the facets to the left to refine your results. You can sort your results by date. I want to sort my results oldest to newest. I am interested in the Jack Conroy papers, so let's open that record. You can do this either by clicking on the collection's title or the hyperlink in blue. Clicking on the title, you are brought to the catalog record for this item. You can see at the top of the record includes the same basic information that was included on the results page. Below that and to the left, you will see a menu that allows you to jump around the catalog record. You should also see an X and arrow to the far left. These will help you navigate out of the catalog record. If you click on the X, it will take you back to the results page, or you can scroll to the previous or next record by clicking on the arrow. On the other side of the directional menu is a menu offering options for the catalog record so you can print, email, or access the permalink for the record as well as get the citation information for this collection. To get back to this exact record, you will want to use the permalink rather than copying and pasting the address from the top. To request items related to Gwendolyn Brooks found in this collection, you can click on the links in the directional menu. This will bring you to the lower part of the catalog record and you can either select the individual folders listed to request the items or look at the collection's finding aid. If you click on the request for use at the Newberry link, this will bring you to the Aon page to request this item. To request items, you must log in with a Newberry Aon account. If you don't already have one, you can create one at requests.newberry.org. Using the Finding Aid link, will take you to a full container list of the Jack Conroy papers where you can select materials to be viewed in the reading room. Keep in mind, not all of the Newberry's modern manuscript collections are listed in the Primo V catalog. So if you want to search for modern manuscript materials, you need to check both the Primo V catalog and the modern manuscript catalog that you can get to by clicking on the resource tab found at the top of the Primo V landing page. For questions or assistance, click on the Contact a Librarian link or email reference at newberry.org.